Speak the Word Only by A.T. Jones After the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus came down, and there met him a centurion, saying, My servant lieth at home, sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. Jesus saith unto him, I will come and heal him. The centurion said, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Jesus turned to those standing about and said, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. There was the word of God, which said, It shall accomplish that which I please. It was spoken thus of the creative power. And though they professed to recognize the creative energy of the word of God, yet in their own lives they left that all out and said, We will do it. They looked to themselves for the process which would bring themselves to the point where that word and themselves would agree. Now these were the people upon whom Jesus looked when he made this statement about faith in Israel. That centurion had been around where Jesus was and seen him talking, had heard his words and had seen the effect of them until he himself said, whatever that man speaks is so, when he says a thing, it is done. Jesus knew perfectly well that the man had his mind upon the power of his word to do that thing, and he replied, Very well, I will come and heal your servant. Oh no, my Lord, you do not need to come. You see, this man was testing the matter to see whether or not there was any power in the word. Therefore he said, Speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Jesus replied, As thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed. When that word went forth, so be it done unto thee, how long before the man was healed? Twenty years? No. Didn't he have to go through many ups and downs before he was certainly healed? Honest now, no, no. When the word was spoken, The word did the thing that was spoken, and it did it at once. Now you see that the word of God at the beginning of creation had in it the creative energy to produce that thing which the word pronounced. You see that when Jesus came into the world to show men the way of life, to save them from their sins, he demonstrated over and over again that that same word of God has that same creative energy in it yet. When that word is spoken, the creative energy is there to produce the thing. Faith is the expecting the word of God to do the thing which that word speaks, and the depending upon the word only to accomplish the thing which that word speaks. Advent Review and Sabbath Herald, January 24th, 1899, by A.T. Jones. This has been a presentation by Indwelling Word Ministries. Please visit our website at theiwm.org.